You're on Morning Live. Good morning, Leanne, and the viewers of Morning Live. Now, Minister, Rear Via has been operating for four years now. Uh, it, it's been lauded as one of government's success stories regarding transport. Should other provinces be expecting similar rollouts? Yes, and in fact, we are very excited because already Pulukwani, as well as Rustenburg and Maungaung, has started with their planning uh, processes. And you know that uh, Tswane is already at an advanced stage. On the 14th, we will be doing the second leg of phase one of Riavaya in, in Johannesburg. So this is a very interesting initiative, and we ac actually encourage many of our municipalities to consider it. Let's let's have a look at, at uh, aviation. Um, from April 2012 to March this year, there, there have been about 20 different aviation incidents that have happened. Um, uh, you know, due to engine failures, mechanical malfunctions, things around that. Does this raise issues around the safety of aviation? In fact, we are very excited. We just returned from ICAO, which is the International Civil Aviation uh, Organization's Assembly. And one of the key uh, focus areas was aviation security. And in particular, what happened there was a report that was presented about security in aviation in the African continent. We have been given a report, an indication that South Africa doesn't have those major significant uh, concerns in terms of security. But we need to strengthen the areas. That is why very soon with uh, engagements of the Civil Aviation Authority, we will be announcing the steps that we'll be doing to make it possible that we further strengthen the security arrangements around our airports, but in particular in the aircrafts and making sure that when people travel by air, they should be knowing that they are safe. Yeah, yeah. No, I, I mean, I also saw that South African Airways again winning uh, the airline within Africa, the best airline in Africa. I mean, this must, this, this, it must make the, fun, the country feel good to, to, to constantly be winning this accolade when it comes to the airline industry. Yes, it's actually very exciting because even the three airports, the major airports, international airports in South Africa, which is Cape Town as well as uh, Kinshasa and Oartambo, actually won awards and they are part of the top 10 airports in the world yeah it is a great accolade and i mean one does when you when you're walking through our south african airports i mean they're, they're absolutely world class if not better than some of the world airports that i have been to so i do think that we have gone a very far way in improving them and i think the world cup had a lot to do with that as did the World Cup have a lot to do with some of the roads, particularly around Gauteng? But having said that, some of the national roads are still problematic. Um, if we look at places like KwaZulu-Natal and the Eastern Cape, uh, I mean, I could ask viewers to write in and they would send horror stories of accidents and problems that they go through on a daily basis. What's been done to rectify the situation on these national roads? If I have to go a little bit back to the airports, I just want to indicate that the total infrastructure that was laid out during the preparations towards 2010 was actually intended to make sure that we improve and upgrade the South African infrastructure for people of South Africa. So the, uh, the preparations towards the World Cup just gave us more impetus and more drive to make it possible that we accelerate. Mm -hmm. But with regard to roads, Remember, we've got 750,000 road surface uh, that is under our care in this, in this country. And 19,000 of those under Sanral, and 3,000 are the concessionary uh, type of tolls, and only 201 of that is the e-toll of, of, of how, uh, Johannesburg, actually. I mean, uh, the Houting Freeway Improvement Plan. So we... we have also a grant that we use together with municipalities to upgrade and maintain our roads, which is called Sihamba Songke. And that is the grant that we give through DORA to, them, to the provinces to make sure that they maintain the roads. And we are worried really that our roads are really in a in some instances in appalling conditions, mm -hmm. and especially the potholes in our municipali municipalities, as well as other parts of the national and uh, regional roads. The president has called on us as a transport sector to make sure that we address the serious challenges with regard to potholes. Yeah. Uh, Minister, just in terms of the five billion rand budget allocated for transport, 
What kind of improvements are you targeting? I mean, the issue that you spoke about, the, the appalling state of some of our roads, is this going to be targeted? What else is going to be targeted? We are targeting the roads because you would know that 65% of the people of South Africa use in predominantly taxis as well as the national uh, uh, road network. We've got more than 15 million people traveling every day on the, on the roads. So it is one of our major concerns and major areas of focus. And that is why I give you an indication, uh, Elian, that we spent that money on what we call Sihamba Sonke, Rizamaya Rotli Mutitzilengze, and that is why it is important that they be in a good condition. Yeah. All right, Minister, I'm going to ask you to sit tight for just a short while. We're going to take a break here on Morning Live. And uh, when we return, we're going to continue talking about issues around transport. And uh, e-tolling certainly is going to come up in this conversation. And we'll find out from the Minister herself uh, what we can expect and when we can expect it to start. Stay tuned.